guys so I just got to Target um, today is the first day of the Target teacher prep event so if you're a teacher all you have to do is go on to Target's website I'll put a link down in the down bar and you just enter your email and your information for your school where you teach and all teachers will get 15% off of school supplies and things like that so I'm here at Target it's the first day that the sale starts so I'm gonna go inside and show you what it's like All right, you guys, so right when you walk into Target, you usually see the dollar spot, so that's where I'm gonna start. Um, right above the buckets, you have some little knickknacks and things. These are some dry erase clothespin type of things that are apples, they're really cute. Um, next to that, you have some chalkboard, colorful and clear little pockets. You can put those on your buckets here. So the buckets come in different shapes and different colors, so if you are interested in those, you cannot get them online, you can only get them in store. So make sure you check out your local Target to see any that they have in stock. But this one is a little chest of drawers that you can keep on your desk. So I have a lot of pens, and I would love to have one of those to just put my pens in. Um, this one is the bucket that you put onto your whiteboard. It's magnetic, so you put all of your um, dry erase, um, so you put all of your dry erase pens and your erasers in there. This one's longer. I personally would not use that one. It's mostly for papers, so I didn't buy any of those. Um, these are the things you're seeing online a lot about other teachers buying little carousels for pens. There's a smaller magnetized box for your Expo markers as well. And then some little jars here if you do collect those dollar erasers, which I thought were really fun. And then this is a jar which I think is really good if you give your kids candy. These are some smaller jars that you have. And then down here are some book bins, which I thought were really clever. I love the design of these. I got the magazine files, but I kind of wish I got those book bins instead, but oh well, it's too late. These are some smaller little organizing um, boxes, different shapes here, and those ones are also useful if you collect those erasers. There's some bigger flat bins, and then there's this bigger chest too. It only has two drawers, but it is bigger, so you can put a lot of different things in there, and it's only $3, like $3, that's amazing. Now here are some hello, my name is blank cards so they can put their names on them on the first day of school you can learn them. And then there's also some longer ones here where they can write their names on their desk. Since I'm in high school I don't use these because I have 200 students and I don't want to buy 200 of those and then have like 5 or 6 per table because there's different periods. You have your binder clips that tell you when you're grading and filing, different papers. And you have some different color banners that you can color and then there's some that you can't color. These are dry erase leaves which I thought were really cute and convenient. So if you have younger kids that you teach, they can dry erase on that and then you can just get rid of it, swipe it clean. These are some blank books. So if you are interested in having any type of lesson where your kids are creating their own books, these are actually really cool. So you can get some composition color ones and then lots of different colors or just the blank white ones. Then you have some magnetic numbers down here is a dry erase board as well these are kind of cheapy so i don't recommend these because it's hard to get the dry erase to actually come off all the time sometimes it stays on there um, these are some signs that i thought were really cute i didn't actually see these before but these are like really good type of banner things that you can show around your classroom to give that positive affirmation and like you are important type of things for your students at the bottom down there you can see my class rule thing i bought um, some more binders over here and then these are sleeves so these are some sleeves that you can use for those positive affirmation kind of for those positive affirmation board binder things this is a calendar type of thing so this so these are little inserts for a calendar so if you got one of those sleeves you can put your calendar information in there so you can see every day of the month over here are some posters. I got the rules one already, and then there's some other ones here, like numbers, which I thought was so cute. So if you do teach younger grade kids, the number one is just so adorable. It tells you, like, there's one globe, there's two rainbows, three teddy, like, it's so cute. Um, here's some string lights. I love those because they're rainbow. I didn't get any, though. Um, a welcome sign. You got all of these little boards, and I'm going to drop them in a second. It's going to be really loud. Everyone was staring at me, and then they noticed that I was recording. But I'm trying to show you each one. So you have the pencil one, an apple one on the outside, an apple one on the inside, and it says something, and now they just fell. So I'm going to clean those up a little bit. Uh, there's the pencil one. It says welcome. I thought that one was so cute, especially if you have a younger type of theme for your classroom. And here's the apple one I was showing. It was mistakes are proof that you're trying. These are just some little banners that hang down their rainbow tissue paper. 
Um, this one is a mini light box, which I thought was really cool. So it's um, a calendar. And this one's a block calendar, which is cute too. Underneath the mess I made, you can see all of these different wooden words. So these wooden words have different things that they say. So you have create, you have learn, you have dream, and you have grade. So the grade one is kind of cute, but I don't think that one is as exciting as the others. Then you have some little miniature cactuses and some little boards here. The My name is blank. Teachers have class, which are so cute. And then a little wooden pencil. Now these are just little knickknacks that you would put around your classroom. There's a smaller pegboard with some rainbow pegs with it. And these are the things you're seeing where people are entering their pointers inside. So there's holes at the top where you can put the pointers in. And some more little knickknacks. Honestly, don't know what you would do with those. Just a dollar, though. Um, the little apple one was really cute. I have a larger glass apple, which I got here for $3 a while ago. These are some $5 bins, which are really cute. So they're kind of minimalistic, which I think is really nice. Especially when you have a classroom that's kind of crowded. The minimalistic type of things like that are really cute. Then you have chalkboard paper or, like, black paper that you can use chalkboard pens on or just chalk on, on its own. Um, these are some little easels. They're kind of big, but they're, you know, miniature. So one side is dry erase and the other side is chalkboard, which I think is so cute. And that one is $10. These are some clips. So you can use these to clip different papers together. There's apples and regular colors. Then you get into things like modeling clay for the younger kids. You have little buckets there and then a whole box in the back. As we move over, you can see some more of the ink pads and the stamps. So again, these are $3 each, which are super cute. If you're a teacher and you use stamps, these are great for you. Then you have some different pencils. There's watercolor pencils and metallic pencils. If you're into teaching art, those are great. These are the things you're also seeing in different videos. These are the Crayola banks. So if you have any type of like cash in your classroom, like Wiley Bucks or anything like that, you use coins, you can use those, which are really fun. Here are the socks again, so you can see the composition book one on the left and then the white paper on the right, the lined paper, and then there's some other socks in there, like little kid socks. Those are only a dollar. Here are some fun things where you can hang in your locker. So there's a dry erase board and then one is a jewelry hanger, which you can use other things like a pegboard. Here are some really fun pens and pencils. So these are each $3. The outside is really fun. The inside, I don't know how good these pens are, but they're $3 each, so hopefully they're pretty good. Um, these are some felt money, so if you have those Crayola banks, these would be really fun. So if you have your own little like classroom cash where it's like a reward system, these are really fun. So you can get those Crayola banks and use that. Now these are all some learning flashcards. So you have division, you have addition, like all these math things. And then you have some other like regular words, learning Spanish, things like that. You have electronic bookmarks, electronic message boards, things like that. They're really fun. $5, $10, and $1 for the cards. Um, lots of different cards to learn a lot of different things. So again, if you teach younger kids or a broad spectrum of different subjects, these are going to be really good for you. Now this one I haven't seen in any videos. This one is a clock. So you make it yourself. If you're teaching kids how to tell time, this is a great thing. It was only $3. And then you have some of the younger kids stuff. I found these blocks. I thought they were so cute. I wish they came with more letters so that I could actually write things out with them. But I didn't get them because it didn't come with enough. But again, those clocks were so cute. Only $3. All right, so we're out of the dollar section. We are on to the backpack. So there's a lot of different backpacks for kids and for older kids, adults. Um, and then these ones are in the luggage section, but they're all 10% off. So I don't know if these ones are going to work with your 15% off coupon, but if they do, that's basically 25% off is what you're getting. And there's some really fun ones, lots of um, glossy, lots of glossy styled ones, some bigger Jansport ones, some that look like luggage. So if you like to have your kids roll their backpacks around or if they like to roll them around, that's a great option. The Cars one is super cute. Each tire is its own pocket. And then there's lots of really fun ones on the side over here too for older kids. Now the prices are going to vary for the backpacks. Obviously the smaller backpacks are going to be cheaper than the bigger ones. Um, but for all of the backpacks in the entire store, they are 15% off all of the school backpacks. So all of the school backpacks are 15% off. Here's some other ones. Now some of them actually come with lunch pails. 
So I thought this one was super cool. It was the Spider-Man, things like that. Um, this one came with a lunch pail, and it was only $20. So you get a backpack and a lunch pail for 20 bucks. Now this is the backpack I got. This one was not 15% off, so unfortunately the one I wanted was not on sale. But this one was $49.99, and it is a security backpack. So as you can see, the little clips will clip on to the backpack rings. So if someone's trying to zip it, it's not going to work. So here is a pack of notebooks. So the pack of notebooks, there were five notebooks inside, and it ended up costing $4.09, which I think is kind of expensive because you can get those at Walmart right now or Office Depot for a quarter each. Um, then you have your glue sticks. You have some Post-its. Now it's a dollar for just one pack of Post-its, which is kind of expensive, but I mean, if you're into Post-its a lot, I know a lot of teachers are. Then you get some index cards, and these can be 89 cents for the bigger ones, and then a little bit more expensive for the smaller ones. Um, you got some glue, which is almost gone. <laughs> 50 cents each for the Elmer's glue. There you go. And here, I thought it was so, cu so cute. This is one of the gel clings, and this one actually is supposed to light up, so it's really fun. It's like a little pizza, but that is $3. So I got some other ones that were in the dollar spot for only a dollar. Um, $3.99 for big pencils, mechanical pencils, $5.99 for some other mechanical pencils down here. And a lot of the pencils are actually overpriced, I think. I personally will buy the Ticonderoga ones, the really cheap ones, because they come in big sets. I usually get a set of like 50 or 100 for a lot cheaper. Um, the Exo markers I also think are kind of expensive. So it comes with four of the fat ones and then you get like a free skinny one. But again, I think they're expensive, $3.49, that's a bit pricey for me. I usually get some cheapy ones at the dollar store. Um, here's some big packs of mechanical pencils. So if I were to get mechanical pencils, I would definitely get them in the big packs to save some money on those. And then you got these 50 cent sharpeners, which are really cute. If you buy them online, you can't really pick the color, which isn't really fun, but it is what it is. Here's some more mechanical pencils here. These are paper mate, and these are $6 for three. Um, $4.99 for a pack here of 50 mechanical pencils. So if I were getting mechanical pencils, I would get one of these. These are the Up and Up, so the Target brand, but you get 50 of them, which is a whole lot better deal than the ones we just saw where you only get three. So you have your regular paper mate erasers, and then you have the and then you have more of your regular pencils. These are the Ticonderoga ones for $2.19. You have some up and up pencils, which are cheaper than that. And then as we continue to look at them, you'll notice that the regular pencils come in bigger packs and they're cheaper. So that's just something that I suggest you get. But to each their own, everyone has different things. Now these are some crayons. These are Target brand crayons, which are only 25 cents. And you have other crayons over here, which are a little more expensive. The regular Crayola crayons are 50 cents, but as you get into the bigger packs, they are going to be more expensive. I haven't tried the Up and Up Target brand crayons. I'm very interested, but they're only a quarter, so I should have gotten some. I didn't. Um, but what I'm noticing about all the crayons is that if you get the washable ones, they are going to be more expensive. Same with the markers and color pencils. The washable ones are more expensive than the non-washable ones. Um, so if you are looking for washable ones, they are going to be more expensive. There's also different colors of washable ones and non-washable ones. So make sure you look at the colors that you're getting as well. Um, you have some Up and Up brand pencils, pens, markers. All the Up and Up brands are going to be cheaper. So if you get anything that is Target brand, it will be cheaper. And if you get bigger packs, they're also going to be a little more expensive too. Now here's an aisle that is mostly UB things. Now I am not familiar with UB. I'm not sure if it's a new brand or if I just skip it usually. But they have a lot of really cute accessories. So if your kid is going to school and they want to show off all of their cute accessories, definitely check out the UB things. I don't even know if I'm saying that right. Y-O-O-B-I. But they have a lot of really cute things. So they have color pencils. Look at these pencils. These are so cute. Those are so fun. There's a lot of pencils in there for $2.99. 24 pencils, $2.99. That's, that's a decent price. Now look at these. These are pens. These are ice cream pens. $4.99, a bit pricey, but at the same time, they're so cute. So as you look through the different things, you definitely want to check out if your kid is going to like how cute they are and if the price is worth it for you. These are ice cream pencil boxes. How cute are these? These are so cute. They are a little pricey. Again, a little pricey if it's worth it to you. I think they are just so cute. I want to say these are $5.99 or $6.99. They're $6.99. 
And here's some cactus ones. Now, these ones the sides kind of fold over, so little um, arms of the cactus. But again, it's so cute. You can actually get things that match all of them. So you can have a binder and a notebook and everything that match your pencil case. It's so cute. There's a surfboard. And then over here we have like a kind of shark whale type of thing. So you enter all the pencils in through its mouth. Like you unzip the mouth. It's so cute. Over here are some more UV things. This one's a pen. It's a mermaid pen. It's so cute. I really like that one. Then you have some unicorn things. This is a unicorn screen cleaner. I was really curious about that. I would also use that on my whiteboard. Now this I'm obsessed with. The Mermaid Vibes pencil pouch. So cute. Look how it shines like that. It's so cute. And you have these reflective journals. Oh, they're so fun. If you had kids that were like me when I was younger, I would have drooled over these. They are so cute. I really wanted to buy them myself, but I wouldn't use them as much as a teacher. Um, but there's lots of different designs you can get. This one is metallic too, but it has different pictures on it. Some unicorn ones, and then you have some basic binders at the top and some PG folders. Um, over here, you have some of the bins, but these are different bins. So these are different brands. Um, the ones in the front for the dollar store are $3 each. These are $1.99 depending which one of course, $2.99, but they're different colors and these ones are a little more glossy and then you have a paper organizer like that so you can stack them up. Here I really wanted to get it but I think they're going to be cheaper at Walmart. These are the desk calendars. I really need one of these for the school year so I'm probably going to check out Walmart for that. And then you have your classroom dec decorations. Now your 15% off coupon will likely work on these things. I cannot guarantee it. All I can say is if you check online through the teacher prep event page. Again, it's linked in the down bar. You can see whether or not your coupon is going to work on these things. So over here we have the, the regular PG folders. You have the paper ones and the plastic ones. The plastic ones are going to be a little more expensive. And then you have your journals, your composition books, your notebooks. Um, the fancier ones obviously a little more expensive, but you pay for what you want, right? Um, you have some filler paper, you have your composition books. Composition books here are $0.54, cents, so that's a little more expensive, whereas Walmart and Office Depot have them for $0.50, cents, so if you want to get them while you're here, you're paying for convenience, so it's up to you. Um, here are some of the pens. Now, these are some really cool highlighters for so cheap. Look at that, $1.19, so I ended up getting quite a few of these. Um, $1.19 for 10 of them. I thought it was a mistake at first. Because for that many pens, a buck nineteen, I was like, what? But I checked it and it was actually right. Now this one, I was like, a buck sixty-nine for all of these pens, all these sharpies. I was wrong. So the sharpies were not a buck sixty-nine. That actually went up to the highlighters, a three pack of highlighters on top. Kinda bummed me out. I was gonna stock up on sharpies, but that didn't happen. So I'm continuing to look at all the highlighters and all the pens and I see some more sales and some more um, cheaper prices for them. So these ones were only 37 cents. Now this is a pack of 10 of the red pens from Papermate Ink Joy. So these are just the regular ballpoint pens. So I ended up stocking up on these. I definitely needed them for that price. Mine just tend to disappear. I don't know about you. But if you compare the other ones, these blue ones were still more expensive, like 99 cents. Like what? So as you continue to look around, I'm going to show you some things that are on sale. You have $3.90 for some rainbow color Inkjoy ones. I only got the red ones because they were a lot cheaper. Um, but there's some other sales for different colors and different brands, obviously. These ones are really fun. So I want to say that everything in the yellow bins is going to be on sale for the 15% off. Please remember to bring your coupon. If you can't print it out, then put it on your phone. If you can't enter it on your phone, and at least take a picture of it, a screenshot or a picture of your laptop, which is what I did, so you can bring it in. If the barcode does not scan, then you can actually have them enter the number, which I think is really convenient for us too. So here are some more notebooks, really fun ones. I noticed they have a lot of really fun ones. When I was younger, there weren't this many fun ones. Like the most fun ours got were like you had a picture of a cat on one of your 70-page notebooks, and that's all we had. We didn't have all this fun stuff. Um, here's some filler paper. So there's obviously different size packs at different prices, but the 175 ones were the cheapest. 
This one I was obsessed with. This one's a dollar. A lot of these fancier ones are a dollar. So if you got that and the mermaid pencil pouch, so cute, like so cute. I was so excited about them, but I didn't end up getting them because I can't take those things to school and feel like a child. I'm gonna show you in a bit one of the things that I was going to get with all of those, but I didn't end up getting it. Here are some binders. There's a lot of fun binders in here too. So some metallic ones, you have some plain basic ones if you're into the basic ones, and then you have your dividers, which are a little bit um, rainbow colors. You have all these rainbow colors of binders. The smaller the binder, the cheaper it is going to be, so you can get it for a buck something. Uh, but those are also 15% off, so if you take this 15% off, plus your teacher's 15% off, that's 30% off. Um, here are some stickers. These are the ones from the Happy Planner. So if you have a Happy Planner, which I completely will suggest you love them, um, you can get those stickers for them too. So these ones are super cute. This is the one I really love. So this white one here, you open it up. Look at that. It is so cute. Now all the pages are kind of taped together, so I didn't end up looking through it a lot. But if you're interested in the Happy Planner, you should definitely check those out. Um, here are some pencil pouches. So if you need pencil pouches for yourself or for your child, there's a lot of them on sale here too. These ones, these pencil boxes, are over a dollar, almost two dollars. And the one I got at Office Depot was only a dollar. So whenever they are on sale for a dollar, I will pick them up. I will always pick them up. Here's a Yubi brand pencil pouches. There's avocados. There's little cactus ones. Like how cute are those? There's a watermelon one. And then in the back, there's a donut one. Like how cute. I wanted to get all of them, but I don't use them. So one, one day when I have kids, I'm going to buy them all these things, and they're going to be so decked out for school. I'll usually stock up on glue, especially this year since we're doing interactive notebooks. We're going to be using glue a lot. Um, you can get the gel glue, you can get the glitter glue for more expensive, but the regular white Elmer's glue is only going to be 50 cents. Then there's some glue sticks, obviously more glue sticks than the entire price. There's some locker things, which I'm not going to get into. And I do apologize, my battery on my camera did end up dying, so I had to switch to my phone. So this is my phone, hopefully it's not too shaky for you. But here you can see that they have different markers and different pencils. They have some smelly ones, some of the twistables, and then you have the Up and Up brands. So here are more of the Crayola crayons. So if you get more, like a bigger box, then it's going to be more expensive. But if you just stick to the regular small box, you can get them for 50 cents. You have the paints, you have paint brushes, some more paints over here if you do a lot of painting in your class or your child does a lot of painting. You have the regular purple glue, so it goes on purple but it dries clear. That's usually what I get. Um, if it's cheaper, I'll go for that. Here are some more of the backpacks. Now they have some of the cutest backpacks. Like I want to buy some so bad. This one right here, this mermaid one, it is so cute. I'm going to show you it a little bit closer. So it has this reflective color and I would buy this one. I have bought a child's backpack before and I am a teacher so I've used a child's backpack. I have no shame. I don't care. Um, the last one I got was a Walmart one. It was Spongebob and I loved it. It was so cute but it couldn't handle my laptop. I put my laptop in it. I put all my stuff inside and the strap actually ripped the first day it didn't rip off but it ripped in half so half of the strap was like off and it sucked it's so cute i wish i could get one of those mermaid backpacks and have it actually be able to carry more stuff then there's some more backpacks there's a lot of 3d ones they actually pop out they aren't just like printed like that they actually pop out which i think is really cute there's a lot of different kids ones um pokemon lego a lot of marvel a lot of spider-man um there's one over here right here. This Wonder Woman one is so cute. And I I swear, guys, I almost bought this one. It looks more like a Halloween costume, like a piece of a costume than it does an actual backpack. So I almost bought this one. It was $23.99, which wasn't bad at all. The only thing is that it wouldn't be able to carry my laptop. It definitely looked more sturdy, but I still didn't want to chance it. Here you have a thermos, a whole aisle of them. Um, if you need a thermos for your kid for their lunchbox, you can put those in. And then we start to get into more of the lunchbox, lunch boxes. So here's one for Moana. These are $7.99. Um, different prices for different ones. But these are just your basic lunch boxes. So lots of kids' designs, lots of colorful, fun ones. Star Wars, Jurassic Park, 
The Incredibles, Batman, lots of really fun ones here. And depending on the brand and the shape and all this different stuff, the prices will vary. I wanted to see what this was. I still don't know what it, what it is. It looks, it looks like some kind of bird or something. I don't know. But the prices will vary on a lot of these different ones. I did end up getting a lunchbox. If you're interested in seeing which one I got, stay tuned till the end of this video. I'm going to show you um, a haul so you can see everything that I bought. I didn't buy too much, but there is some stuff in there that I did end up stocking up on and some things I ended up buying here too. This one's kind of like a backpack, so it looks like there's straps where she can wear it on, as a backpack. Not 100% sure. Maybe that was the design. But again, lots of different colors, lots of different designs and shapes and sizes. A lot of different fun ones here. Now these ones are only $4.99. If you need a lunch pail for your child, then you can just get some that are really cheap. $4.99 for a lunch pail is a really good price in my opinion. Over here we have the last little set of lunch bags. And it looks like that's it. Okay, so I just got home from the Target teacher prep event. So it was 15% off all of the school supplies for teachers. Um, it didn't work on the thing that I got in the Target dollar spot. Granted, I only got one thing in the dollar spot. All of this is from a previous haul. So I did not have the 15% off coupon for those. But if you are interested in seeing what I got my first time at Target, Walmart, um, Office Depot, all these places, then I will leave a link for you right up here so you can click on that to watch that first. But this one is actually the Target Teacher Prep event. So you get a 15% off coupon code and you can use it on school supplies. Now when you go online, it takes you to this page where you can see things that you can buy and it takes you to school supplies, it takes you to like storage, so any type of plastic bins and buckets, but I did not see any of these. Obviously, these are the dollar spot things, so the bullseye section. This is not going to be online, so if you are interested in these, you're going to have to get those in store. Again, I don't know if it's going to work on those because I did get one thing from the dollar spot today, and it did not work on that dollar spot item. It was only a dollar, so 15% off would be 15 cents, but I didn't get that 15 cents. Um, I also got another thing that was not included in the sale, and that was a lunchbox. But I want to say that the backpacks might be included. I'm not 100% sure to be honest, but when you go on the Target website into the teacher prep event, it will show you all the different things that you can get with that coupon. So again, there's storage, there's things like cleaning wipes and all these random things. So I'm going to link that page down in the down bar. So click that link so you can see exactly what you get. When you go into the store, it's not going to be everything that's 15% off. So just know that it is mostly for school supplies and office supply type of thing. So when you go to the back of the Target, you'll see the back to school event. Um, all these posters and things hanging from the ceiling all of that is going to be on the 15% coupon So I'm going to show you what I got from my trip today Okay, so let me show you what I got. I got two bags here now I know it doesn't look like a lot, but when I open them you're gonna see it actually is I didn't get a lot of different things I got a lot of the same things because they were really good prices. So I'm gonna show you my favorite thing first um, I already got a backpack for school, and yes, I'm a teacher, I do use a backpack, or at least I'm going to use a backpack, because carrying a tote bag, as cute as it is, it's just not realistic when you're taking your laptop and your chargers and your hard drives and your iPad and all this stuff to school. It really hurts your shoulder and your elbow when you're carrying it to school. So I did get a backpack. If you are interested in seeing what backpack I got and all the other things I got from the beginning of this video, right up here is going to be a link, or maybe it's right over here. I don't know, whichever way you're viewing this. Um, there's gonna be a link to my first haul, everything from Target, Walmart, Office Depot, everywhere that I went. Um, but the first thing I got is my favorite thing. This is a lunch box. So I personally bring my lunch every single day, but I'm gonna be honest. I do not make sandwiches or wraps or have any of that fancy stuff because I don't have time for that. Instead, I usually bring probably a water bottle, um, a little snack like a granola bar or some chewy um, gummy type of fruit snacks, and then I'll bring a, a warm-up thing of macaroni and cheese. So it's just like one of those little um, bowls you put water in and you microwave it. But um, I am going to be trying to make some better, healthier meals this year for school lunch. I'm going to try and, you know, get my life under control this year. So I'm going to be dressing nicer like an actual teacher. I'm not going to wear jeans as much. I'm going to do 
grown up things. I'm gonna be an adult now. So um, I got this lunch pail. It has a cute little name pouch in here so I can put my name. Um, on the front, it is, I don't know what that brand says, Fulton, Fulton, Fulton Bag Company. So I saw this online. Originally I was gonna get a white one. It was white with like black um, lines across it so it looked like a geometric type of um, print. I don't know. It was really cute. I'm going to link that in the bottom too. Also, if you're interested in any of these things, I'm going to link them in the down bar. So go ahead and check that out as you're watching. Um, but this one was $12.99. Again, this was not included in the teacher's sale, the 15% off. But I saw this online. I really wanted it. But when I went into the store this time, I saw that there were different colors. Um, the cool thing about this is when you open it, there's a divider in there. So it's kind of like your own little Benzo box type of um, lunch pail. So you can put your food in here and obviously you're thinking, well, you can't put a water bottle in here. Well, don't you worry because there is a pouch on the side. So you just put that on the side. But my backpack actually has one of these pouches as well. So I'm not even going to use this one. Honestly, I don't even like it on here. <laughs> I think it distracts from all the cuteness. So I might actually cut it off. I don't know. Um, but anyways, this is what I got, $12.99. There's also a zipper here if you want to put things inside there, just small little things, so maybe your fruit snacks or if it's too full in here, just fit something in here. Um, if you're a parent and you like to give notes to your children for lunch, I actually saw some at Target. They were $6 and there were these cute little riddles on them. So it had like um, jokes on them and things like that. So I read them and I didn't show you in the video, so I really do apologize for that, but I'll link those down in the bottom too. Um, so they're already made, they're notes. So one of them said, um, it was one of those jokes, what do you call a vampire that's really annoying and it was like a pain in the neck or something like that. Anyways, um, I'm gonna link those in the bottom, but if you are um, trying to give your kids notes, you can put them in there and then their lunch goes in here with their water bottle. Really cute, love it. There's also different colors, so you will see that in the video if you haven't already. Um, lots of different colors, really cute. There's different sizes too and different shapes. This is $12.99. There's one that's actually shaped like a bag, so like one of those brown bags that's shaped like that and it folds over the top. Only $4.99, so I'll link that in the bottom as well. All right, these other things are pretty much all the same, <laughs> almost. So I'm gonna show you the one thing that's different. Uh, so I got this. This was from the Dollar Spot. This was, again, not in the sale, but this is just some crayons that are like jelly little sticker things. I'm gonna put these on my whiteboard because for my class this quarter and this year, I am going to be having groups and each group is gonna be their own color and then whichever color per period does the best in terms of like turning in their work or doing on well on tests or even just attendance, things like that behavior, they're gonna get points. So instead of me having to write on the whiteboard, the colors, I saw these and they were a dollar. So I'm like, these would be so cute to just stick on the whiteboard and then write the numbers for their team. So this again was a dollar in the dollar section. Um, this was not on the 15% off, but it was really cute too. So I just wanted to show you that. And these other things, there's only two, but there's a lot of them. So when I was shopping, I saw some pens. So you saw these in the video when I showed you. These are the Papermate Ink Joy. These are the red pens, or just ballpoint pens. And I was pretty surprised by the price on these because they were 37 cents. 37 cents per pack, and there's 10 in here. So 37 cents for 10. So in the video, you saw that there were quite a few in there. I grabbed them all. I literally bought all of them. So. that's all they had in the bin and I didn't want to ask for more so I figured let's just get all 13 whatever um, and the last thing I got I got five of these these are highlighters so these are the big highlighters I want to say there's 10 in here also yeah there's 10 this was a dollar and I want to say a dollar and 19 cents maybe a dollar and 14 cents I don't know it was a dollar and something cents so I got five of these and for 10 per pack that is so good if you're a teacher this is the time to stock up it is such a good price um, I got five of these. I was gonna get more, but I didn't wanna go over the $50 threshold like for me spending. And when I went to actually pay, they told me it was $24.50. And, like, 
And I was like, what? $24.50, that's all? So I kind of regret not getting more of these. So I might end up going back to get some more just because I like to use highlighters a lot in my class and my students are going to be doing a lot of highlighting. Since they're doing their own interactive notebooks, this is a time where they're gonna be taking their own notes and it's gonna be like their own textbook that they're creating. So the highlighters are really going to be important. Now when it comes to the pens, Teachers know how much your grading pens disappear. I don't always use red, and when I do use red, I will use it and then I'll lose the pen. I don't know what happens to them, so I did end up buying a lot. So this is everything that I got for my haul. Again, there's some more of these, I got five. Um, but if you are interested in the Target 15% off, which all of these pens were included in the 15% off, then I'm going to, again, link in the down bar for the Target coupon, you do have to click the link and sign up. If you are not currently at a school, you don't have a school email and you can't prove that you are at a school through the email, then it might not work. So I personally have two school emails. We use one that is mostly for like the professional side. So all of the teachers and principals and district people contact each other. And then there's one where it's all the teachers and students. So the one where students can contact you. So I have two. Um, so if you don't have access to a email, then it might be a little tough for you, but you can always go inside or call them and see what you can do. Um, you're gonna take that, so once, so once you sign up, they're gonna email you a code and that code is what you're going to be using to buy things online or to go into the store and they'll scan that barcode. And if the barcode doesn't scan, just show them the number at the bottom of the barcode and then they'll type that in. I didn't have any problems with mine. I actually screenshotted it. I took, a, <laughs> I got my camera and I took a picture of my computer screen because I can't get into my um, school email on my phone because there's so many different things you have to log into and click all these little links to all these other places and log into this and that and that. So I just took a picture of it with my phone from my laptop so that even if it didn't scan, they would have the code to type in. But I'm all, but I'm leaving all of that into the down bar. Also, all of these um, things that I bought are also gonna be in the down bar if you're interested in buying those. If you don't wanna go into the store, that's perfectly fine. You can buy them online. Online is actually where you're gonna see most of the things that are included in the sale. So if you're in, so if you're in the store and you don't know whether or not it's gonna be counted on this 15% off, it's tough because you don't know, you have to ask somebody, but if you're buying it online, then you'll see exactly what's gonna be involved. All right, so that's it for this video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. And if there's any specific videos that you're interested in seeing, maybe specifically teacher videos or any type of like advice for teachers or anything like that, if you're a new teacher or you're decorating your classroom or anything that you are interested in seeing, please let me know down in the comments below. And if you're interested in seeing any of my other videos, my previous haul, my classroom decor, anything like that, you can go to my channel and you can watch those as well. Please give those a thumbs up and thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.